Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Troy with eBuzz Central. This will be part five in my series of leaving windows and moving to Manjaro. In this video, I'm going to cover software and where to get it. Before I get started, remember to like and subscribe so you can be entered for the ASUS ZenBook 14 giveaway on August 31st, 2021. The first thing you want to do is come over here and find your add and remove software button. Now, there are some things you need to do prior to downloading any software. The first thing you want to do is come over here to the little hamburger menu, click on it, and go to Preferences. It will ask you for your password, so let's go ahead and enter that. And what you will want to do in here, you're going to have three different tabs. Okay, first tab you want to go to is Third Party. Now you'll see right here, right off the bat, you have AUR. AUR is a community maintained repository, so it presents potential risks and problems. I have been running software out of the AUR for probably four years and have never had a problem. Okay, what you want to do is you want to enable this. What this is, is this is people in the community, developers, that have taken software titles that aren't available on the regular repositories and put them together so you can build them from code and install them on your system. This is a real handy repository if you can't find anything in the official repository. So you want to enable that. Don't click any of these other buttons, just enable it. You also have flat pack support on here. If you're somebody that likes using flat packs, you can turn this on. And if you're somebody that likes using snap packs, you can turn this on. Snaps. A lot of people don't like snaps. Um, I don't use them for the simple fact that a snap package is a lot bigger than a regular package for the simple fact that when you download a snap package, it has the program in it and it also has all the dependencies in that snap pack. So it's all together. So let's say you have three or four different programs on your computer that are running the same dependencies. These programs won't share in a snap. They have their own dependencies wrapped up inside that and it just downloads more and more information on your system. For some people it's easier, which is fine. If you wanna make it easier, all you gotta do is go down here and click, set that on. And flat pack packages, they're kinda like snaps. If you're not really sure, just do a Google search and you look at snaps and flat packs yourself and see if it's something that you might like. I'm going to leave those off for my personal preferences and leave the AUR on. Go over to Vance. You can check these. Check available disk space. I have checked. Uh, remove unrequired dependencies. I never click this on because somewhere, if there's one mistake made and the dependencies removed, it can mess up a program. Do not check for updates when installing. I got that unchecked. Enable downgrade. I have that unchecked. And ignore upgrades. And then over on general, your system will check for updates every six hours, okay? And what will happen is if it does find an update, this little icon right here will have a red dot beside it, and it will let you know what updates are available. Downloads. You can have parallel downloads, up to four official repositories using mirrors from worldwide. Uh, it does let you spe specify United States, other countries. I stick to worldwide because it does seem to be faster. Now what you want to do here is once you've adjusted these settings, you want to click this button, refresh mirrors. Okay, and what it will do is it will take about a minute to two minutes and it will refresh every single mirror you have worldwide so that way you can be guaranteed the quickest download. Now after you refresh, you don't have to do it again every time you download a package. All you need to do is maybe every once 30 days, 45 days, just click that, let it refresh, you'll be good to go. Uh, cache egg, you don't want to touch anything there. So once that's done, that's when the fun part comes. That's when you get to go out and start looking for software. As you can see, I've downloaded a few packages on here, but let's go over here and do a search. Let me give you some examples. Let's say you're looking to install GIMP. GIMP. Just type it in, it'll bring it up. It's available on the official repositories. It's also available as an app Im image, but anytime you can, you wanna stick with the official repositories, okay? Let's go up and click OBS. 
OBS is in the official repositories. You can download it there. So generally speaking, you can type whatever software you're looking for in here and it'll pull it up and you can install it with one click. Let's say I was going to do that. You just click on it. It'll come over and say build. You click build. Uh, it'll tell you what dependencies it requires. All you do is click apply and you're good to go. But that's how you get software on Manjaro. It's rather simple. It's rather quick. It's rather easy. So I know this video is a little shorter, but I just wanted to go over this. Point some things out when you're using Manjaro that you need to do. Remember to like and subscribe so you can be entered for that contest to win the ASUS ZenBook 14 on August 31st, 2021. I appreciate you all watching the video today, and I will see you in the next video.